<laughs> oh my god. Okay, is it good? Check. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, why don't I see that uh, Why do you have your seatbelt? Because you're worried that you're just gonna fly off the rails with how retarded this fucking movie was. So today, Daniel and I saw Collide. Uh, which is a movie that came out in a few other countries last year. And now it's released <laughs> in the US. It stars Nicholas Holt, you know, Beast from X Men and Mad Max, he's a very good actor, and Felicity Jones, you know, Jin Urso, uh, Academy Award nominated actress for Theory of Everything, you know, and two of the greatest actors of all time, uh, Ben Kingsley and Anthony Hopkins. And this movie sucked so hard. <laughs> this was probably the worst movie. One of the worst movies I have ever seen. I feel <laughs> like I'm dumber. I feel like I am more dumb after watching that movie. I have never seen him so mad at something <laughs> ever. Through most of the movie, it was me just looking at him <laughs> react to shit. And then the last 45 minutes, this movie was over at an hour and a yeah. half, but this movie kept going. He's just sitting there pained, contorted, like the fucking exorcist girl. Oh my god, this was amazing. If I would seen this alone, I probably would have walked out. You fucking pussy. It's not even the fact that it's a stupid... <laughs> everything. It's the fact that like the filmmaking is so fucking bad and this is some of the worst dialogue I have ever heard. Anthony Hopkins calls Nicholas Holt bro. That's all I need to say. That's the review of the movie right there. We're gonna get into this. You're gonna want to stick around for the spoiler section but in case you don't and you just want to experience this no clue what we're talking about Nobody's heard of this movie. Nobody's heard of this movie. If you want to find out, stick around. If not, and just our final thoughts and scores out of six stars, scroll to the time code here. Otherwise, let's do this shit. This movie feels like it's like <coughs> a direct to like VHS movie from like 1991. But like, somehow it has like amazing actors in it. Like Nicholas Holt is a, I think he's a super great actor. Felicity Jones is Academy Award nominated. I think she's really great. And, uh, you know, Anthony Hopkins and Ben Kingsley, those are like two, you know, all time great actors. I'm not too surprised that they're in this because we see a lot of veteran actors and direct to DVD shit all the time. Okay, I guess I could see those <clears throat> two, but Nicholas Holt and Felicity Jones, heck. But think about it, Nicholas Holt is not a household name, and Felicity Jones isn't either. From everything I've heard about this movie, this was made about three years ago, so it that's might- That's true. That's, it that's might, actually a good point. Felicity it, Jones probably, yeah. like, filmed this movie before she was cast for Star Wars. She might have filmed this before she got her Oscar nomination back in 2014. That's what I'm thinking. So, at this has, point, you take what movie you can get. She has a blonde wig in this movie. She has a blonde wig that reminded me of the hooker in Transporter Refueled. Nicholas Holtz, um, a piece of shit, and he used to steal some cars, and now he's in Germany. And he goes to a club and immediately falls in love with Felicity Jones. Who's a bartender there? Who's a bartender, and they're both Americans, and their romantic scenes, because they fall, they, of course they have to do a, a love montage, but it's a love montage <laughs> with heavy-handed expositional dialogue, so you like see them making out, and he's like, we've been seeing each other for a while every day for a month now he's like let's get married or no like let's get a house together ben kingsley is in a whole he's not even a whole different movie he's like in a different like planet i heard a review of this movie where the guy said are we sure that trevor from iron man 3 isn't an actual person and we all just got punked like is ben kingsley's it, evil dude, twin in this movie it, dude he's having a fucking blast this guy dressed in fur coats that look like from Return of Xander Cage, and he's high off his motherfucking ass with a haram of hookers that don't even look interested to be there. This movie has Ben Kingsley saying lines like, are you a racehorse or a hooker? And he has this obsession with old movie stars like John yeah. Travolta, and for some reason, Nicholas Holt reminds him of Burt fucking Reynolds. 
in a running joke that made me so happy to be alive. He's like, I'm not gonna work for you anymore. I have better standards now that I'm fucking uh, Felicity Jones. He says this, by the way, maybe the same night that Felicity no, Jones tells him. No, the exact same night. The literally- Is it? The exact same night. Because Felicity Jones says And then that he goes out to her, he's like, guess what, I just, uh, you know, Quit my job. Now we can just go and fuck all day. Yeah, Felicity Jones' only conflict in this movie is that Nicholas Holt works for this drug guy. She's seen him around at the bar long enough to know what he's into, and she's like, you're cute and you're adorable, but I don't want to get mixed up in that shit. And the whole conflict through this movie is her just being upset at the idiot she's chosen to fall in love with because he keeps trying to get money. The reason he wants to get money is that Felicity Jones's kidney doesn't work. She needs a kidney transplant, and it's so way in too the expensive. Dumbest way possible. We'll get there, which is you know way too expensive for millennials that decided to buy a house and barely afford rent in Cologne. The way they tell you, or the way they introduce the idea that Felicity Jones is sick, is the dumbest fucking thing I might have ever seen. They figure out that she's got this stupid kidney thing. It's on Christmas. They're really drunk. Out Wait, is it Christmas? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, they mentioned it was Christmas. It's really drunk. It's They're, they're really drunk. It's snowing outside. They're... What are they drinking? Uh, she... A full handle of liquor. Yeah, it's some sort of... Uh, Each. Then they start stripping. In the snow. Uh, just to their underwear, because this is a PG-13 movie, and you don't get any, uh, quality nudity, which is also a problem with this film. I'm just baffled at the segue, and because then he complains that it's cold, and her and her drunken stupor goes, Okay, I, I got a challenge! Uh, let's strip to our underwear, and we're gonna lay down in the snow, and the first person to raise more than four fingers off of the ground has to run around the block naked. Alright? Alright? Cool. And he's like, what the fuck? It's cold. Uh, okay, fuck it. I guess I'm just doing this too, because I'm drunk as well. I've been pretty fucking drunk before. I have never in my life been so goddamn drunk that I decided that sleeping in the motherfucking cold in the middle of winter was a great idea. I've never even been around people drunk enough to suggest sort of a situation to me. He gets up and she's just laying there in her underwear in the snow and then she doesn't get up and he's like, what's wrong? And then he dramatically carries her up. I'm like. That was the first time of many that we openly laughed in this theater, full of people that I think were too bored to get the joke. Thing is, no, there was like this old couple behind me, like, they were like left right after us, and that old guy was like, that was a good movie. I was like, oh, did you oh hear my that? god, you probably voted for Trump, you fucking piece of shit. I pitched this to you with the idea of Anthony Hopkins saying bro to Nicholas Holt, and you were all in. So I want to know, what point in the movie did you go from loving the stupidity to just breaking? You know at the beginning, when he's like, they do like a flash forward, and he's like, on the ground in the car, he's like, it's all about love. When they cut to that scene in the future, when he's like driving on the horse, there's a point where like the car goes in the air, and then randomly they cut to this dream scene when Felicity Jones is in the car with him. And I was just like, I was like the monkey touching the monolith in 2001. I'm like, I can't even comprehend what the fuck is going on. This movie gets the joke. I'm sorry. No, it does not. You're telling me that in the scene where Ben Kingsley calls Nicholas Holt up, after Nicholas Holt has called him out of desperation to say, Hey, look, I'll get you the money. Just rescue my girlfriend. Make sure to rescue my girlfriend. Okay. He calls him and he's like, Oh, man, I'm sorry. It's like, we, we couldn't get her. It's like, I'm sorry, man. She's dead. And then, ah, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, we totally got her. It's cool, man. Come on over to the racetrack. You're telling me that dialogue like that doesn't let you know that the, any person involved in making this movie was like, I'm gonna make the most fun piece of shit I've ever made. I was so checked out at that point. I feel like if you would see more bad movies like I've this, seen a lot that of you would have movies. more tolerance. I, I've seen shit. a lot of shitty movies, man. But, man, like, there's at least, because there's these other shitty movies that I've seen that have something. Like, Jupiter Ascending is my worst movie of 2015. That movie has amazing visual effects. And 
that are, and is very committed to being bold and like original. Transformers 4 is one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. That movie has fantastic special effects and there are some competently made action sequences. This movie has nothing. Nicholas Holt, I think he's a great actor, he's terrible in this. And Felicity Jones is even worse. Is he though? Yes. You gotta give me this scene. We have arrived at the flash forward where he has crashed on the highway after this long chase on Germany's Autobahn. And he gets out of the car, stumbles out, gets chewed out by some random rich asshole, punches him in the face, steals a BMW. He drives the BMW for not two minutes until he sees the gas light turn on. Now you're telling me that when you get the close up on Nicholas Holt, and he There's just so busts many out in like crying laughter because he's thinking, of course this would happen at this moment in time. God fucking damn it. You, you're telling me that wasn't an awesome choice? No. I think this movie has a great sense of humor. I just really don't. That like the so many dramatic, long out monologues about love and Anthony Hopkins doing a weird monologue about his father and like that's hilarious. Anthony Hopkins looks at Nicholas Holt and he goes, "We need to fight and claw our way to the top." Yes, and he's I calling his father a beast. <laughs> Glory, amen, hallelujah. Come on, it's Nicolas Cage, man! There was a point in the movie, I think it was right before Nicholas Holt is assigned to steal this truck from Anthony Hopkins, who's the main gangster, because Anthony Hopkins is in a partnership deal with Ben Kingsley, and Anthony Hopkins has this scene where he basically tells Ben Kingsley, you mean shit to me. Yeah. They're planning what's going on. I'm sitting there, and I genuinely was thinking, I wonder if my mom bought me Chipotle. I texted her at 2.30 to buy me Chipotle. I wonder when this movie ends. I wonder if I can time this with the reviews so I can leave before I have to go to work at yeah. 6. And after all this had happened, I finally realized I was in the middle of watching a movie. And I went, oh fuck! There were like several points in this movie when I just completely like was lost in like thought. I was just like thinking about life and stuff, and then I, I was like, oh fuck, like, oh, something else stupid happened. There was a few points where, like, you had to, like, tap me on the shoulder to, like, look at this terrible thing that's happening. Welcome back. If you scroll to the time code, I've been having a fucking time of my life talking about Collide, and we're just gonna go into final thoughts and scores out of six stars, so I actually really like this movie. I had a blast because it was so goddamn stupid, and it knew it was stupid. You're not going positive with this, are you? I understand that the terrible parts are terrible, but you saying that this is self-serious, it's, there's no way someone can make this with the purest of intentions to make a serious action movie. It just doesn't happen. But it's not fun enough for me to justify it. It is fun it. enough! No, it's not! Action it's scenes cancer. flying around, Nicholas Holt laughing at shit, Ben Kingsley trolling Nicholas Holt the entire time. Come the fuck on! It's great humor. It's not a good movie. And there are people, him included, movie. that are going to hate this. But, if you love terrible action movies with a wicked sense of humor, it's for you. Three and a half! I hate you. Actually, fuck it. Four. I like this shit. I actively like this Are shit. Are you serious? I am dead goddamn serious. <laughs> oh, man. This is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. And I'm, I've am i seen some shit movies in my lifetime. I'm going to give this a score that means something to you, but it does not mean the same thing to me. I'm going to give this 0.5 out of 6. I can't quite get it to zero though I considered it there was a point in this movie when I had considered it but I did laugh a few times this is gonna be on my worst of the year list I hope that I don't see a worse movie this year maybe like Transformers 4 or 5 I am so mad right now I'm so happy right this now movie, don't go see this movie fuck what he says fuck him <laughs> fuck him he gave this the same score as Rogue One yeah yeah commenters eat him alive Half cock two and a quarter. If y'all like this shit, please click the like <laughs> button. 
click the subscribe button, be the first to find out when new videos are up. <laughs> Social media, we got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This man has a blog. He'll go into more detail about Collide at liammgahan.wordpress.com. We got our friend Noah, who's the Cinema Geek on Instagram. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I love this fucking show. See you later. Don't see this movie.